Hey guys, what's up, I'm back with another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to install NetBSD inside a virtual machine, inside a virtual box. NetBSD is another official flavor of BSD, but it is mainly used for network related activities, and it is most commonly used and installed on servers. To get started with this tutorial, please make sure you have the following things. One. A computer running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. 2. You will need VirtualBox installed on your system, so if you don't have that already, head over to virtualbox.org to download it. You will also need to install the extension pack for VirtualBox. 3. Your computer must have hardware virtualization capabilities, and if you don't know how to enable this, or are unsure whether your PC supports it or not, then it may be handy to find an online guide on how to enable, or check for this. Some software is also available, and it will tell you whether or not your computer has hardware virtualization, however, the software can sometimes be inaccurate, so this might not be the best way to go about it. And finally, you will need to have the NetBSD image, which can be downloaded from netbsd.org. If you have all of these things, you're all set. So, the first thing you will want to do, is to open up VirtualBox, click on New, and name the virtual machine NetBSD. Next, give it about 512 megabytes of RAM or so, and just as a side note, BSD does not require powerful hardware, as it is an extremely lightweight OS. Leave these following options as default up until you get to a point where you have to specify the amount of storage you want for your VM. Note that you should give NetBSD about 8 to 16 GB if you plan on installing lots of things in it, however, since I will just be setting up a test system, I will give it about 4 GB of storage, and you can do the same if you like. Once that is done, press on create, and now, head over to the settings, go down to the display section. Max out the VRAM at 128 MB, do not enable 3D acceleration, then, go down to the storage section, click on the blue CD, then proceed to the one with a down arrow, and then choose your ISO file. Once you have done that, click on OK, and for now, I will stop talking, and let the installation process begin. Just as a quick note. You must use Enter to confirm any changes you make in the installation, or to proceed to the next option, and use the arrow keys to go over several options. You can also use Tab to skip over options, or for something else. Just follow what I do on screen, and you should have no problem installing NetBSD. Ok, here we go.
Okay, that part is over and done with. We've just set up a NetBSD virtual environment, which you can test out BSD related programs on, or use special appliances made for NetBSD. NetBSD does not have any graphical user interface, so you might find it somewhat daunting, however, it is possible to install a graphical desktop environment onto NetBSD, but this is a rather complicated process. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and do be sure to give my videos a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated, and do enable notifications, so that you won't miss out on any future videos. Okay, bye for now.